Have you ever been in a situation where you felt that your travel tripod might just tip over if you left it, or you felt unsatisfied by the smoothness of its pans or tilts? Well, this tripod right here might be the answer to your problem. Although it's not a budget tripod, I would place it squarely in the lower to mid-range of the professional grade tripods, coming in at a retail price of $11.99 for the fluid head and legs together with an included mid-level spreader and a really, really nice carrying bag. So let's get straight into it. For cons, there's not really many, but I did pick out a few. So the only real complaint that I have about this tripod is these horseshoe feet. So they have a little bit of a floppy nature to them. So when you put them into the bag, they're going to flop around a lot. And more often than not, they're going to end up in the locked position. And if they do, you have to unlock them before they're able to sit flat on a surface. And that can take a little bit of time and it's a little bit frustrating, but honestly, it's not the end of the world. And as long as you remember to unlock them and ensure that they're flat on the ground every single time, you're not gonna have any issues. But I did wanna mention it. Also, this does have built-in spikes, which are pretty nice because, again, this uses horseshoe-type feet. But what you need to be aware of is that they are not super long, and so if you do need to be in a situation where you're in a lot of deep mud or sand or other things like that, these might not cut it for you. Instead, if you do need something like that, I would say probably you'd be better off with the YC Onion Panetta Peak since those uh, spikes are quite a bit longer although you do have to screw them in every time, so that's a little bit frustrating. Unfortunately, like I said, these are just a little bit too short for some of those deeper situations where you're gonna be on slippery terrain. Next, if you're interested in using the mid-level spreader, some things to keep in mind. A few people have complained about the mounts snapping or otherwise breaking. Personally though, I haven't had any issues since I'm pretty careful with my gear, but if you aren't so careful with your gear, it's a pretty easy thing to forget. If the mid-level spreader is locked, you can accidentally damage it or break it so just be aware of that although Suri have been pretty good from what i've heard with replacing these things but again it's probably better to not break it if you have the option and the last con that i have is also kind of a pro and that's going to be the build quality so it's really good because this tripod is built super heavy all of the legs are extremely uh, strong the tripod head feels super super sturdy everything's metal and carbon fiber so it's absolutely fantastic but it is a little bit heavy and also the legs are quite stiff so when you're undoing everything it's going to take a little bit of effort to open everything up also another thing is that the latches are really really stiff especially compared to something like the YC Onion Panetta Peak and so if you're trying to open this with a bit of a delicate touch using your fingers, that's probably going to lead to you pinching yourself. However, if you just use the palm of your hand, these open right up, it's not a problem at all. But I did want to mention it in case you were looking at this versus the YC Onion. And again, if you do want to check out the YC Onion Panetta Peak, I do have a video that I'll leave linked right here so that way you can go and check it out. But for this tripod, starting out with the specs that you need to know, this tripod can be had in one of two versions. So there's a light version, which is a little bit cheaper and it weighs a little bit less, and it also excludes the mid-level spreader. Or you can go straight ahead for the Pro, which is the one that I have right here. And that's gonna be the one that I'm going to be talking about for the rest of this video, since it's the one that I have. So this tripod is a, another one similar to the YC Onion Panetta Peak that features these super nice one uh, step latches up here at the top to adjust your height. Makes it really quick when you're on set, easy to set up, easy to take down, just like the YC Onion. And so that is really nice. It's also a lot like the Sackler Flowtech, which again, I'll get into at the end of this video when I talk a little bit about value and final thoughts. But this allows you to easily deploy the tripod and it drastically improves your speed on set. As far as load capacity for this tripod, it has a maximum load of 25 kilograms or about 55 pounds. So this is a little bit less than the advertised capacity on the YC Onion tripod that I discussed previously. But in my opinion, this tripod feels much more sturdy, so I don't think you'll have any problems running any type of rig that you have. Probably you're going to be running mirrorless setups if you're watching this channel, and I think that this will do just fine for any of those. But moving on and speaking about how sturdy this is, this does come with a very nicely built mid-level spreader, which again is all carbon fiber and metal. As for adjustability, this tripod has stops at 22, 50, and 78 degrees, with a minimum height of 8.3 inches and a max height of just about 60.3 inches, which is a little bit over 5 feet. 
when it's fully collapsed this comes in at 29 and a half inches so it's a little bit large but it's not too bad and the last little bit here is going to be the SVH15 fluid head, which can be purchased separately if you like for about $690. This I would say is honestly the strongest part of the tripod. It has a number of features that I absolutely love and a few quirks. So the head features a really nice quick release flip on the right side, and this is extremely nice. It's super secure, makes everything really fast. If you're trying to do fast camera changes or anything like that, it's super easy, it's really reliable, and you can also adjust the tension if you like. If you feel like it's a little bit too loose, you can always tighten it up. And it's so much faster than every other tripod that I've tried, even something like the YC Onion, which also has the ability to uh, do side loading. This one with the latch is just so nice. And also like the YC Onion, you can use DJI plates if you choose, or you can use these standard Manfrotto 540 types. One thing to note about using the DJI plates with this though, is that you need to remove manually one of the retaining screws, otherwise it's not going to work. This is a little bit unfortunate since the YC Onion Panetta Peak uh, tripod, I think that head is really nice since you just have to push in a button and it'll automatically transition it over to be able to use the run-in plates and then you just push another button and then you can use your standard plates again. I think that was a little bit more of an elegant solution. This is a little bit more intensive, but it's not bad. At least you have the option. Another thing about this is that it has, again, a pair of bubble levels, just like the YC Onion. You have one that's sort of lower towards the base of the ball head, and then you have another one that's up on top of the actual fluid head itself. So you can make sure that you are perfectly leveled. Another thing that is really, really important to note here is that unlike a lot of fluid head tripods that you're going to see out there, especially in the budget realm, this is actually true hydraulic fluid. And this is really, really important. It's been tested in the range of minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 141 degrees Fahrenheit. So pretty much any temperature that you're going to encounter on a professional shoot, this will work. Also, it features seven steps of counterbalance, so you can appropriately dial in the exact amount for your camera setup, all the way from 9 pounds to 33 pounds, and you also get fully stepless damping control on both the pan and the tilt axes, so you can really dial in your resistance as much as you'd like, so that we can get the smoothest shots possible. And honestly, this is the best fluid head that I've ever used for producing videos. I did a shoot not too long ago where I used this and I was panning with this 200 to 600 all the way in at 600 mil and there were no issues whatsoever, so I can't recommend it enough. Another thing that's really nice about this is that it can be unscrewed from the 75 millimeter ball head, so if you do want to actually mount this on a slider or something else like that, you have options for that. The ball head is also semi-quick release in that you just need to unscrew the bottom collar two times and then you can press the button in and it'll fully release all of the threads. So that makes removing the ball head and attaching the head really, really fast. So overall, what are my thoughts? Well, I think for the money, this is absolutely the best tripod that you're going to get. It punches well above its weight class, in my opinion, and I've never used a Sackler Flotec 75, which is pretty much the direct competitor for this. But just to mention to you, the SVT 75 legs here are pretty comparable to those legs. And if you want just the Sackler legs, you're going to be paying $1925, which is about $800 more than this tripod um, with the fluid head. So that's just to put it into perspective. And if you do want to get the fluid head with the Sackler, that's going to run a total of 2700 bucks. So again, I think in light of that, this tripod is an absolute steal. And even though there's a couple of cons that I had already mentioned at the top of this video, they really don't detract for me from the usability or from the incredible value here. So I absolutely love this. And with that being said, thank you for watching the video. Again, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more content. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below, and I'll be uh, down there to respond to you and we can discuss further. But with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Later.